Welcome everyone to the first video in this multi-part series, creating a busking colour picker in EDC EOS. In this video, we'll create groups and colour palettes, as well as set up a test patch. You'll be able to find a playlist with all the videos down in the description, as well as show file, macro or script downloads, if relevant to the video. I'm going to just quickly make a new show file. We'll launch ETC Nomad in offline with visualizer mode, so we can test our creation in the built-in visualizer called Augmented or Augment 3D. To start, we need to create some groups. One for each of the sections of lights you want to be able to control, and then one for all. I'm going to create 12 plus the one extra. You can pick whatever range you want, but I'm going to pick the 200 range, because I know I don't have any groups there already. I'm then going to just quickly label them all. You can call them whatever you want, and you can change it later. For now, I'm just going to patch 12 generic RGBW fixtures, one for each group. Go to patch, then select the range. I'm going to do 1 through 12. Click on type, then find some sort of colour fixture. I'll just search for a generic RGBW. Now, I'm just going to get them to show up in the built-in visualizer. Open the augmented tab, select the fixtures, and set the positions. I'm going to do 10 through 1 for the Z position, which should distribute them nicely vertically. I'll also just rotate them and decrease their beam angle. You then want to assign your fixtures to the correct group. You can update this later. I'm now just going to quickly highlight through the groups to make sure I've created them successfully. We're now going to make our colour palettes. I'm going to create a macro to help me. First, we're going to start an infinite loop. Then, we're going to select last then colour, then wait for enter. On the next line, we're going to select last again, then record, colour palette, wait for enter. Then we're going to search for by type, then label, and another wait for enter, and then enter. Then we just need to end the loop. How this will work is you select your all group and press enter. Then you run the macro. The macro will select last, which was your all group. It'll then type color into the command line and then wait for you to click on the color you want. Then it will select that group again and then record the color palette and then wait for you to type which color palette you want to record to. It'll do this by type. So if you have multiple of the same type of fixture, but you didn't record them into the color palette, it'll still work on those. And then label, and then wait for the users to enter the label for that color palette. Now I'm just going to use the macro to generate all the color palettes. You can make as many or as few as you want, but I'm going to create 15. Here they are. Finally, I'm just going to quickly open a direct select window for color palettes. Just make sure they're all working as intended. That's all for this video. In the next video, we'll start on the magic sheet. I'm hoping to get it out in the next week or so. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to pop a comment down below. Thank you for watching.